Hello guys, welcome to Sea Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about OSPF step area and uh, OSPF totally step area. So, what is OSPF uh, step area? The uh, step area in OSPF uh, is an area that does not allow LSA fire uh, type five. So, what is LSA type five? So, I have written for you here LSA. There are uh, different LSA type in OSPF. OSPF. So you can see here LSA type 1 is a router LSA that is generated by router itself and other one LSA type 2 is a network LSA that is generated by uh, if uh, this is the uh, OSPF area 0 so this a uh, these two router in OSPF area 0 will generate the LSA type 2 which is the network LSA because these are on same network so the third one is a LSA type 3 which is a summary LSA is also called the network LSA summary LSA or network network LSA so okay network LSA so network LSA is a LSA that generate by uh, ABR router so from uh, one uh, OSPF area to another OSPF area the networks uh, exchange through LSA type 3 and the other one is a LSA type 4 this is uh, uh, ABR these are uh, generated by ABR and uh, LSA type 5 these are autonomous external uh, LSA so if this is the one uh, OSPF domain and uh, this is one autonomous system and this is an other autonomous system so these are the route from different autonomous system if uh, these route want to come in OSPF uh, this uh, autonomous system OSPF domain so uh, these route come here from uh, from this area to uh, ASBR this is a autonomous system boundary router and this then this autonomous system boundary router generate LSA type 5 and then uh, it send these route to OSPF domain and the other are uh, LSA type 6 with, uh, that is the multicast OSPF LSA and LSA type 7 is not so stubby area NSSA and uh, LSA type 8 that are external attribute LSA mostly we use the L5 LSA types up to this so these are LSA so here in step area it only allow the uh, uh, within autonomous system routes the uh, routes within autonomous system it does not allow uh, external route from external autonomous system from this uh, this is a other autonomous system which running rip and this is the autonomous system which running the OSPF uh, so step area only allow the route from this uh, autonomous system it does not allow the route from uh, this uh, autonomous system but it only generate a default route that is generated by ASBR and uh, then this autonomous system if uh, anyone uh, reach this autonomous system so only these route go out of this area by default route so uh, these are the uh, understanding about uh, autonomous system so here i have written so in OSP, uh, ospf there are three types of route intra intra area routes the route within this area so this is the if this is the network so we give this network here uh, 192.168.10.0/24 so these are the inter area routes within one area so this is the area one and this is the inter area routes and the other type is uh, sorry intra area so this is the inter area so inter area routes if uh, ospf have different area so this is the one area so this is the another area area zero so the routes from this area come in uh, step area so these are called the inter area routes and the last one is the autonomous system external route ase routes these are come from other autonomous systems so, uh, the route come from this autonomous system alcar ase so let's uh, go toward the configuration of uh, step area how step area configure and how it behaves so let's start the configuration first of all uh, we come uh, give the ip addressing and uh, complete the layer 3 so system interface giga is 0 slash 0 slash 0 ip address is 10 dot 10 dot 10.1 and 24 so here we have loopback interface loopback 0 so IP address is 10.10.20.1 and 24 sorry so IP address IP address 
10.0 here uh, rip protocol is running so we only configure rip here yeah, rip yes rip rip so network is 10.10 sorry 10.0.0 so it does not allow subnetting so rip only allow the classful networks so we configure here so now we go here in this system view interface key come so here in the SAABR router this interface in area another autonomous system and this interface is uh, in other autonomous system so we configure this uh, interface uh, uh, in this autonomous system via rip protocol so 0 size 0 IP address is 10.10.10.2 and 24 so we configure rip one network is 10.10.10. Sorry, again zero. And now we go back. Now we configure another interface. Zero slash one IP address is 100 dot 100 dot 100 dot one and 24. So this is the 100 dot 100 dot one here and two is here. So I configure one here. So now we configure OSPF one area 0 and the network is 100.100.100.0 and subnet market uh, now we go on another, another router here in this router and uh, give the ip address 0 slash 0 slash 0 slash 1 and ip address is 100.100.100.2 and 24 and other from this interface which is uh, IP address is 192.168.10.1 and 24 24 and here we configure OSPF OSPF 1 area 0 so in uh, this route is in area 0 and this route is in area 1 so area 0 network 192.160 sorry so this route 100.100.100.0 dot 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 so quit back area 1 and uh, the network is so you can see here OSPF states have been exchanged or now it is in full state so network is 192.168.10.0 uh, and 0.0.0.255 so now we configure here as well uh system view system view interface gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 and now sorry sorry system view interface gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 ip address is 192.168.10.2 and 20 for now we are uh, configure ospf protocol ospf1 area 0 area 1 and the network is 192.168.10.0.0.0.0.255 so now you can see here uh, it also exchange the uh, ospf state and then that will be full agency with one and other so now you can see here if you ping ping 10 100.100.100.1 so it's reachable from here to here it's reachable now we make this area as a stub area so we just uh, go in area 1 and uh, write the command stub go back area ospf stub sorry area 1 and make this area stub here as well we go in this specific area now we here we are in area 1 on this interface and make this area stub so now if you see the ospf routes here display display ospf routing so now you can see here it's uh, only contain one routes this route which coming from here 192 168 it's this is the same route just wait for some time uh, it also contain this route after some time it also have uh, you, you can see here intra area route so this route is intra area within area so it also contain one inter area route now it will have also you can see here this is the inter area route coming from this from here so it's also generate an uh, default route 
for going outside in this autonomous system if you ping it will not ping this interface 10.10.10.1 it will not ping because we does not uh, import the route to go to other autonomous system if you go here in, in system view ospf1 import route rip sorry rip1 now we go in rip import route we go in ospf and import route from rip now we go in rip in rip protocol and import route from ospf ospf1 so now you will see here they will exchange the route and they, they both will be reachable after some times when the link will be up you can see here now this route has been exchanged and this route now if you display ospf routing table so now you can see here to go uh, this is the inter area route so this is the inter uh, sorry this is the intra area this is the inter area you can see here this is the inter area route if you go want to go to this area go through this interface of router if you want to go on uh, external autonomous system this autonomous system you will go through uh, this default route so this is the uh, stub area so if you run here the command if you know stub undo stub sorry undo stub undo stub and here we also run the command undo stub undo stub so it does spf routing table so you can see here only contain inter area route intra area route now we run the command totally stub uh, stub with no summary so now it will be up now uh, stub no summary so now it it is up now to go here it does not totally step area does not allow you can see here the totally step area does not allow totally step area which area in which summary lsa summary lsa are not allowed this is the lsa type t which is the summary or network lsa which are not allowed so it means that network lsa are come from the inter area so these route are will not be allowed in this stub area so abr only generate a default route for this area too for this network and this network it only can uh, generate the default route it does not import this route in this area so previously we had you can see here observe here so this is the inter area this is for external route and this is for inter area to go in area this area we have a route this route 100 route present here so now this route 100 route will be replaced with this default route let's see display ospf routing table so now you can see here the 100 route has been eliminated only one default route present to, uh, for both this area and this area so this is the totally step area in totally step area it not allow individual route import individual routes only import a default route to go to these areas so this is the totally steps if you have any uh, confusion so you can ask in comment so hope you like the video thank you very much